Imagine strolling through the stone-paved streets of ancient Rome, amidst philosophers debating the virtues of the mind and the essence of a good life. In these gatherings, thoughts on resilience, virtue, and the nature of existence spark light in the eyes of those seeking wisdom. Today we embrace the echoes of their discourse, drawing from Stoic teachings that have shaped centuries of thought. Let's journey together through the principles that promise strength in tumultuous times. If you're ready to transform wisdom into action, gently tap the like button, subscribe, and share this voyage of discovery. With open minds, let's step into the realm of Stoic philosophy. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury, Marcus Aurelius. To embody this wisdom is to choose the higher path of character over the lower roads of resentment. Aurelius beckons us to focus not on retribution, but on personal excellence and integrity. Let our actions always align with the best versions of ourselves, not tainted by the wrongs of others. Thus we rise above, not in spite of injury, but in pursuit of virtue. It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus This sage advice reminds us that our true power lies not in the events of life, but in our responses to them. It invites us to see beyond the immediate tumult of our circumstances to the calm and considered action we can take. As we journey through today's challenges, let us choose our reactions with the wisdom and clarity that Epictetus championed, shaping our lives not by what happens to us, but by how we rise to meet it. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Seneca This poignant observation challenges us to confront the phantoms of our worries. How often do we let the shadows of what might happen paralyze us when in fact the light of the present moment holds no such terror? Seneca guides us to distinguish between our fears and our lived experience, prompting us to focus on the tangible present rather than the intangible future. In doing so, we liberate ourselves from needless suffering and reclaim the joy of now. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius These profound words lay the foundation for a stoic truth. Sovereignty over the self is the ultimate form of control. Aurelius teaches us that while we cannot dictate the actions of the world, we hold the reins of our minds. It's in this internal dominion where we cultivate our resilience and harness the strength to face whatever may come our way with composure and grace. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Marcus Aurelius this statement is a clarion call to action, a summons to embody the virtues we often laud in abstraction. Aurelius prompts us to step into the arena of life, to manifest through our deeds the qualities of the good man we envisage. It's a reminder that virtue is not a spectator sport, but an active engagement in the pursuit of excellence. Let's not defer to tomorrow to be the embodiment of our ideals, the time is now, and the person is you. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius As if looking through a lens, the quality of our thoughts can either clarify or distort our view of the world. Aurelius prompts us to polish this lens, to cultivate a mental garden where positive, constructive thoughts bloom. It is in this cultivation where we find happiness, not as a fleeting emotion, but as a state of being. Let us then tend to our thoughts with care, nurturing a happiness that endures. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Epictetus. This calls for a manifestation of our beliefs, not just in word, but in deed. 
Epictetus challenges us to be the living embodiment of our principles. It's easy to preach virtue, yet it is in the doing that true character is revealed. Today, let us strive not to vocalize our philosophy, but to live it, allowing our actions to speak the language of our soul. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Marcus Aurelius Here, Aurelius empowers us to recalibrate our perception, to understand that our distress is often self-imposed. It's an invitation to reassess the weight we give to external troubles and to reclaim our mental peace. Let's remind ourselves that we possess the agency to change our perspective and, by extension, our emotional response. He who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. Seneca this stark reminder from Seneca urges us to live fully beyond the shadows of fear. To dread death is to be ensnared by it, immobilized in the present, which is truly ours. Embrace life's fleeting nature and let this awareness fuel your actions with purpose and vigor. For in the end, it is not the years in our life, but the life in our years that defines the richness of our existence. Only the educated are free. Epictetus This profound insight from Epictetus speaks to the liberating power of knowledge. Education, in its truest sense, is not merely the accumulation of facts, but the understanding and application of wisdom. It is through learning that we break the chains of ignorance, allowing us to see the world through a lens of clarity and purpose. Let us commit to lifelong learning, for it is in the nurturing of our minds that we find the keys to our freedom. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. Seneca Seneca's words serve as a poignant reminder to embrace the full spectrum of time. Dwelling on the past can lead to regret, while fear of the future can spawn anxiety. However, it is in the present that life truly unfolds. By learning from yesterday, anticipating tomorrow with a measured heart, and engaging fully with today, we find a balanced existence. This wisdom encourages us to live with presence and purpose, making the most of the fleeting moments that compose our lives. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius In the face of obstacles, Marcus Aurelius delivers a powerful strategy to use resistance as a catalyst for progress. The very challenges that seem to block our path can become stepping stones if we choose to approach them with resilience and adaptability. It's not just about overcoming what lies before us, but also about transforming barriers into new paths Embrace the hurdles, for in the art of living, each impediment is an opportunity to forge our strength and ingenuity. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Epictetus The stoic pursuit of freedom is not a quest for external liberation, but for internal sovereignty. Epictetus teaches that true freedom is achieved not through the conquest of external adversities, but through mastery over our perceptions and reactions. By focusing our energy on our own choices, actions and attitudes, we attain the only freedom that truly matters, the freedom of the mind. As is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Seneca in these few words, Seneca distills the essence of a life well-lived. It's not the duration, but the depth of life that counts. Each moment is a scene in the epic of our existence, and we are both the authors and the heroes of this tale. Let us then write a story worthy of recounting, filled with courage, wisdom, 
and virtue. In doing so, we ensure that our life, however long, resonates with goodness and meaning. As our passage through the Stoics' timeless wisdom concludes, let's carry forward the light of their insights. These lessons are more than echoes from the past. They are beacons that can guide us in the present and illuminate our paths ahead. Reflect on the strength that resides within you, the choice to live virtuously, and the courage to author a life of significance. May these principles not just be pondered, but practiced, transforming your journey into one of purpose and poise.